In this Alignments video, you will learn how to access and use the territory charts. To access the territory charts, there's two ways. You can click here on the plus button to open up a new tab, select charts here from the bottom left, and then select this charts button, and that will pull up your territory chart. The second way to access the territory chart view is from the home menu. You click the add view button, select charts from the bottom, and then territory chart. Both methods will get you to the exact same place. When you open up your territory chart, by default, the most recent data set that's either been imported or created in Alimix will appear here on the screen. If you've created a sales territory index, then you'll see that index appear here as the label for the chart and display all of your index data here in chart form. You can choose a different data set by clicking the drop down menu here. You can choose different data sets or even show territories by different types of account counts. But let's stick with our index 100 here. And if we scroll down and view the bottom left here, you will see the statistics pertaining to this chart. It will show you the minimums and maximums for your territories based on the territory index. You can also see different percentiles, averages, and it'll also give you a total of the overage. And the overage is actually this red section here. So these are all the territories that are above our threshold. And it's typically the average plus or minus 15%. So if we're looking at having territories with an average index of 1,000, then you can see that there's about 30 territories that are, are above that range. And that total for those 30 territories is actually equivalent to almost 8,000 index points. So that's almost equal to eight sales territories worth of index. And here on the left-hand side, you can see that we have 33 territories that are below that threshold. So that means we need to shift all this excess overage from the right in these territories that are over all the way to the left to these territories that are too low to be viable territories. You can also customize the different percentages by changing them here or the lower bounds at this point right here. You can also click and drag those lower and upper bounds by clicking on these lines and moving them up and down. From here, you can also export this chart, copy this chart, and save this chart to your desktop. And there you go. You've just learned how to access and view your sales territory chart.